Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Storm, and I'm Dennis. And today what we're going to do, we're going to install a control panel virtual min with LIMP or D a Engine X server and also with Ubuntu 20.0 for operating system on a Vulture VPS server. First thing you need to do is go to Vulture, V-U-L-T-R dot com. And when you get into Vulture, if you haven't already signed up, go ahead and do so. If you have, you just go ahead and click enter and you'll come to a page like mine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click deploy new server. Now, once we get to this page, you'll see it says deploy new instance to server. Uh between cloud compute and high frequency they both is fine high frequency basically is the higher clock speed a little bit more but good things about it i'm going to choose high frequency for server location i'm choosing for this tutorial chicago but you choose whichever is closer to you your clients or audience we're going to come down to server type of course, our virtual men wants you to put it on what they consider a grade A operating system, which is a long-term operating system of Ubuntu, Debian, or CentOS, or Red Hat. That's what they consider their grade A. Now, we're going to install it on Ubuntu. And on server size, of course, one thing about our virtual I mean, virtual men is that it sometimes require a lot more uh, cpus or memory than uh, let's say if you try to install cyber panel so on this particular one instead of me installing the 32 the lowest one which you can do that but if you try to do anything that's going to mount to something you may eventually have to scale up but that's the beauty of a vulture is kind of like Leno, DigitalOcean, AWS, or Google Cloud Platform is that you can scale up or down at any time. But for this and our tutorial, I'm going to use a 64 gig solid state drive for $12, and it comes with a 2 gig of memory. After you pick whichever you want to, additional features, I'm going to enable the IPv6. You can enable any of the others you choose. And for the server name, host name, and label, this is basically more internal than anything. So just put whatever you want in it, and I'm going to put virtual men. As you can tell, it shows that I'm on the $12 plan. I'm going to click deploy. And it is now spinning up my server. As you can see, it shows me installing into the Chicago location with the Ubuntu operating system on the 2 gig high frequency uh, CPU. Now, while it's doing that, if you're on a Mac, I need you to go up to your spotlight and type in terminal. And when you click enter, it should bring you to the terminal similar to mine. Now, if you're on a window product, you need you can go to putty.org, that's P U T T Y dot org, download that terminal and be able to use it. It says server edit successfully. So it's still showing to be installed, but it should be. There we go. It's running. So what we need to do is just go into our server that we just installed. As you can see, the IP address has been assigned, my username, and passcode. Go back up to your terminal. Type in SSH root at symbol. Come down, copy your IP address, come back up and paste it in the terminal and click enter. Now, don't worry about this, y'all. This is basically saying, hey, we do not recognize this host. So, do you trust it? And we're going to click yes and enter. Now, come back down, click your password, and then go back up to terminal, paste, and enter. As you can tell, welcome to Ubuntu 20.04. So it's completely installed Ubuntu and it, or Ubuntu and it's ready to go. Next thing we need to do is go to virtualmen.com. When you get into virtualmen, there's two different areas that we're going to open up. The first one is going to be download. Go to it. Go down. As you can tell, this is the first script we're going to install and copy. Go back to terminal, paste, 
So now it's installed the startup software script to, to get ready to do the, the complete install. The next thing we need to do now, if you're running root, you don't have to. Actually, this if you put sudo bin sh install dot sh in there, it's going to run on root. Or it's going if you don't have root, this is the one you need to run. But if you do have root, you could actually go over to this particular one here. And this is under uh, automated virtual min installation. And if you scroll down or go to this, it's sh, uh, forward slash install dot sh. That is the one we're going to use for the, the root. Copy, paste. And then I'm going to, It's here's the thing. If I try to hit enter down, it's going to install Apache, which is LAMP, instead of LIMP. Nginx that I want so what I'm going to do I'm going to have to change it to install Nginx or the LIMP L-E-M-P instead of the Apache or LAMP L-A-M-P and to do that we need to after we get through putting the sh dot forward slash install dot sh skip line two uh, hyphens and then bundle and then in capital letters L-E-M-P P and click enter. There we go. Now it says welcome to Virtual Man GPL installer. And of course this is the newest version they offer at 6.2.2. And as you come down you see what is currently installed or currently supported on the operating systems. And it also tells you about how many uh, memory of disk space it's going to use and all the thing. And it asks do we want to continue and we're going to click Y and hit continue now it comes down and it says your system host name virtual man is not fully qualified please enter a qualified host name so we go we'll try to enter demo dot virtual men dot com and see that is uh, good because it is a qualified domain name uh, but while it's doing this i'm going to go ahead and pause it because it's going to take at least about 10 minutes all right we're back and it's completely installed as you can tell all the packages that it did complete it says installation complete and there was no errors from what i could tell so what we need to do is open a new tab and we can either type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash demo dot virtual man colon 10,000 and click enter. Uh, it didn't take us to that. So what we're going to do now, <coughs> it may have to just wait till we get that set up. We're going to copy IP address, click paste colon 10,000 all right now we're, we're cooking it says your connection isn't private we get it shows it but we do trust it <clears throat> this works for the same y'all the same on Microsoft Edge as it does on Google Chrome just type in this is unsafe as you can see it's spinning up and it should take us to the login page which it does the webmen, which I told you, you get two for one, kind of. You get webmen and also virtual men. They are both very good uh, control panels. And uh, they're actually kind of for a uh, seasoned veteran or somebody that's pretty good on technical issues. Because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there. But what we need to do is go down, copy our passcode. Of course, we're going to use the username root. Paste our code. <clears throat> I'm just going to hit remember me at this time. And I'm just going to log in. Now you see it's virtual men's coming in. And virtual men is on this end. If I click that, it'd be web men. The two for one. I love it. There's going to be a post installation wizard to come up. And there's going to be a few questions it's going to ask you. It's just trying to determine how you're going to use virtual men. We'll go through this. And, and of course, what I pick, you don't have to pick. 
but this allows you to configure virtual men to optimize your system for the way you're planning on running it and everything. If you plan on running a host and web uh, sites, emails or databases and everything, it's based off of system memory and CPU power. So we're going to click next. It says virtual men can be tuned to improve performance, you know, but it all depends on if you want to preload up the library, it's going to use more RAM than it would if, if you didn't, it'd be slower, but it used more CPU. So there's always a trade-off. That's why I said go with the twelve, a dollar one that give us more RAMs because I'd rather go ahead and use a gig of RAM and uh, still have about a gig free and have everything be on the faster side. But whatever is good for you and stuff, that's fine. But yeah, I'm put yes. And I do want uh, eBay lookup server, yes. Yeah, so everything I'm going to do is going to be optimized for speed. It says connection lost. I don't know what's going on. with. There we go. Connection successful. If your system is going to host domains, you'll receive a large amount of email. You know, scanning it can be very time-consuming and use a lot of RAMs. So it's asking us, do we want to enable this scanning tool, Clam VA or AV? I don't believe, unless you just got a, a lot of emails coming in, I don't believe there's no sense in doing that. We could just keep it on the demand scanner and go from there. Save that RAMs. Uh, if your system is uh, domains and receive large amount of emails and all this, it's just talking about the same term. Well, it says, I'm put yes, because, you know, it's only 30 megs. So let's see, we're going to hit next. Also, virtual men support both MySQL and PostgreSQL. sequel That's great. I mean, both of them's installed. They're, they're both, neither one of them's running. And it, it tells you basically that uh, MySQL is is basically supported by a majority of things. Uh, Postgres is not. So there may be some application that requires it, but most of the time it's not going to be as supported by different applications as the regular MySQL. So we're going to keep this for MySQL, yes, and no for Postgres. Click Next. To prevent others using the system, you know, change your passcode. Uh, I tell you what, that's up to y'all. If y'all want to leave it in there or whatever, change it to whatever you want to. So just whatever you need to do or come back and change it for later. MySQL can be configured to trade off memory for performance. So basically it's wanting us to leave it at the default medium size at 512, which is plenty for the database so that's kind of like a medium or for regular uh, mysql so that's plenty we i don't see no sense in changing that or use in changing that right now and then of course if you want to set up secondary name server optional or primary is demo well i suggest you type in uh, ns1 dot virtual men dot com and ns2 dot virtual men.com and those will work as your secondary backup name server this is kind of letting virtual men manage your web servers and probably about a lot better a lot easier less headache on you letting them do that all right it says also give us the option of storing plain text password versus hashtag or hash passcode of course, the, the big thing here, if you just store a hash, it's more secure. But for some reason, you forget your passcode or whatever, you're going to have to get a new. Uh, you can't just go back in and get it sent to you. you got to start over, get a new passcode. But I I mean, there's trade-offs. But I'm just going to leave mine as store plain text passwords. But, of course, if you want the more secure version of it, by all means, get the hash password. Is creating a default uh, server, and then of course I want it to be encrypted with Let's Encrypt certificate. I, I like it; it's free. 
it's a self, but you can say self-signed certificate, but a lot of times self-signed certificate, some of these web browsers do not recognize it as being secure like it should, but Let's Encrypt is a, uh, a certificate authority, so that, that's a good one to get. All right, Virtual Man wants to do a post-installation configuration. So it apparently did what we're going to hit next. And I want to hit recheck and refresh configuration because even though it did, uh, it as you could tell, it's going down through here showing everything that's been installed and everything that's up and running. Any kind of errors that we're going to have in it. But it looks like that it's, it's running good. It's, it, it noticed that our system's running 2 gig of memory, which is above the recommended 256. It also... Everything's installed, the uh, correct version of PHP, MySQL, ProFTPD, everything's looking good. Your system is not ready to be used by virtual men. So let me see, either change the program on the span or, or disable this feature. Let me go back in there. Let me disable that right now. I'm not sure. And we could always go back in and do that. We're going to return. This is always a good. There we go. Now, we're good to go. we got everything up and running. If you click over here, of course, it tells you like 63 packages ready already for updates. It gives a whole list. I mean, we could spend hours going through everything, you know, on this side. Oh, there's the dashboard, and I love the way it is. You see how much memory is already taken up, and, and they just we haven't done nothing so it's always a good thing to kind of think about getting enough to cover what you got but let's break it down we installed virtual men and technically web men because we could go on web men side too so you get two for one on a virtual vps server with ubuntu 20.04 operating system and y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hey, just click the like button, subscribe. I'm going to keep pumping out many more to come. And hopefully keep supporting my channel and everything. And y'all, thank y'all.